Happy Monday, New Life Church. Glad you've decided to join us for our devotionals today. My name is Trevor Van Kippen. I'm the student ministries pastor here at New Life Church. This whole week, we're talking about goodness. And goodness is one of those words that's kind of been diluted a little bit, like love. You can love pizza and also love your wife. And clearly, there's a difference there. And goodness is one of those things where it's almost debated at times, where there, there's some that are for sure, like superheroes, they're good. Villains, they are bad. But sometimes there's a gray line when it comes to what is good. For example, uh, Oakland A's, they're good. San Francisco Giants, they're bad. Coke is good. Pepsi, bad. Chick-fil-A, good. McDonald's is okay. Now, you might say, Trevor, I disagree with some of those things that you were just saying. I am a huge San Francisco Giants fan. That's okay. Uh, if you still need Jesus, you might say, Trevor, I like Pepsi, and that's okay too. But I want you to know that there is a standard for what it really means to be good, where there's a non-negotiable, where this is good no matter what. That standard is God himself. He is the standard of what is good, and he is what we should model our lives and our good after. We're doing a soap devotional today, and so our scripture is found in Psalms chapter 119, verse 68. And it's a short verse, and it says this, The Lord is good and does only good. Teach me your decrees. I love short verses because you can say them again. The Lord is good and does only good. Teach me your decrees. A couple of observations to pull from this portion of scripture. And the first one is, what comes to mind when you think about God? Because what you think about God determines how you view God in conjunction with your life. If you view God as angry and judgmental and, and, and this evil character, man, you're going to see that play out in your life. If you view God as good, you're going to see that play out in your life. If you see God as indifferent, that's what you're going to see God show up in your life. But I want you to know today that this verse is clear. In fact, many verses in the Bible are very clear when they say that God is good. But I love this part of scripture where it actually says that God only does good. Because God is good, that's his nature. He cannot do anything else but good. And that should bring us some, uh, some peace. That some of the things that are happening in our lives, man, they might not be good, but God remains good, remains constant, even when our circumstances aren't. What comes to mind when you think about God? Because that shapes how you view God and how, God, how you view how God interacts in your life. But also know that there is room to grow in the area of being good. Man, the, he ends this verse saying, teach me your decrees. I want you to know that you might think that you are a really good person, but there's room to grow. On the other hand, you might view yourself, hey, Trevor, I'm not a good person. In fact, sometimes in my life, I see nothing but anger and uh, jealousy and pride show up in my life. I want you to know that there's room to grow but it's not found in you. I mean, we're talking about the fruit of the spirit, not the fruit of Trevor, not the fruit of John. And if you want goodness to be a bigger part in your life, you need to set yourself aside and allow the fruit of the spirit to be more evident in your life. Allow God, allow Jesus, allow the spirit to cultivate the fruit of goodness on your behalf. What about application? What are some things that we can apply from this verse? Yeah, God is good. Yeah, he only does good. But what do I do about that? I want to challenge you this week to look for the goodness of God in your life. I want you to know that you'll never find the things that you're not looking for. You will only find things that you are looking for. Like, have you ever bought a car and then suddenly realized that there are so many of those same cars all over the road? It's not that they weren't there before. It's that now you have a heightened focus and awareness of it. Challenge you to be aware and focused on the goodness of God. Man, even in this crazy COVID season we're in, focus on the goodness of God. Even in the midst of, of uncertainty with kids going back to school, not going back to school, you have to teach kids. Man, focus and look for the goodness of God. The last thing, learn how to be good. I mean, this is something that doesn't come natural to us. This is something we have to learn. And there's no better place than in this book in the scripture, read this book until it starts to change what you view as right and you view as wrong. 
Man, read this book. Be, get involved in a life group and allow people to speak, to encourage, to challenge, to call you out on some things that you need to change in your life. Learn how to be good from God who is good. I want to pray for you today uh, in believing that you are going to not only allow goodness to, to grow in your life, but all of the fruit of the Spirit. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for every individual, every person, God, today. Lord, I pray that you would just bless us. God, give us your favor. Give us wisdom in the area where we need to make decisions. And God, I pray that you would start to cultivate this fruit of goodness in our life. God, not so that we can be uh, better, but God, so that we can be more like you. God, teach us your decrees. Teach us how to be good. Lord, we love you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great rest of your day.